My name is Valerie Berry and I'm here with a senior, Lucas Reed. Uh, tell me a little bit about the project you guys have been working on. Well, our client is a professor in the forestry department and he came up with this idea to mechanically grade logs and find the strength of the log for construction purposes. Because right now they only do like visually grading. So a, a guy will come in and measure like the slope of the grain of the log and the knots in the log and stuff like that. And it's very conservative because they don't actually test the strength of the log, okay? And so what this device is meant to do is non-destructively test the strength of the log so it can be used in construction, construction applications. Um, the higher graded logs demand a higher price, which is more economical. Um, and a lot of the higher logs get rejected and are used for agricultural purposes or are cut up in a mill for 2x4s and 2x6s. But as you can see, you can only make like you know, one 2x6 or a couple 2x4s out of this log. There's a lot of scrap with that. So this device, what it does is it measures the stiffness of the log, but doesn't, doesn't um, hurt the integrity of the log, so it can still be used in a construction application. So how are you guys measuring with this device? Uh, this device, um, we, from the load we apply to the log plus the deflection of the log we, and the, knowing the span length and the diameter we can calculate the modulus of elasticity which is directly related to the stiffness or the strength of the log. So you said that this project was fully automated? Yes it is. Um, the, the, it takes two users to use it. Um, you, load, you put the log on here, you measure the diameter of the log, and then with our uh, device you just hit, you g hit go and it'll preload it, and then it'll apply a final load to it, and then from the deflection and the loads, it can calculate the MOE and spit it out from you. So what were the biggest challenges that your group faced and the biggest victories? Uh, one of the biggest challenges we faced was exactly how to apply the load to the log and make it like you know fast and easy for the user um, from that like we there's a there's already a laboratory device but it in order to load it it takes quite it takes you know two people to load it up um, takes like two minutes to run a test so we really wanted to get that process a lot faster and so once we came up with this design an open front design as you can see here you just load the log in the front um, that made it, made it a lot easier to, for the users to use the, the, the device and made the process a lot faster. And how did this project teach you about teamwork? Um, it actually, a, a lot of teamwork is involved. Like we split up the, the project into uh, major components. So like a few of us took on the design of the trailer. Some of us took on the design of how we're going to load it. Um, and a couple of us took on like automating it and the hydraulics and stuff. And so to bring like work separately but together was, was kind of a, a struggle for us. But you know, once towards the end, like we, it all came together really nicely. As you can see, like our project's fully automated. It's running up, it's up and running, so. And what are your plans after graduation this year? Uh, me personally, I am attending graduate school here at the University of Idaho. And I'm uh, working, I'm going to be, my uh, major professor is going to be Bob Stevens of the Mechanical Engineering Department. Why would you advise that incoming engineering students come to the University of Idaho? Uh, the program is, is one of a kind. I mean, not very, there's only, you know, a few schools in the country that allow the seniors to take everything they learned in their first three years of school and apply it to an actual project where you have to deal with budgeting, um, design from the ground up. I mean, this is a first generation thing. This is, you know, came in with an idea and we, we built it. And so there's not, you know, the University of Idaho allows us to, allows us to do that. Take all of our engineering, our school work and apply it to the real world. And were all of you uh, mechanical engineers working on this project? The first semester it was, we had five mechanical engineers on the project. Um, second semester, we brought in three computer science majors to automate the process. And so, you know, it was really fun to work with, a, with another discipline. And so just to see their side of stuff, you know, it kind of opens our eyes to, to uh, you know, the real world. Like in the real world, I'm going to be working with electrical engineers and computer science engineers. So, This is Valerie Berry with the 18th Annual Engineering Design Expo.